Etosha National Park, northwestern Namibia. Proclaimed a game reserve in 1907 by the governor of German Southwest Africa. A park that spans an area of 22,270 square kilometers. A land so abundant with wildlife that in 1876, an American trader by the name of McKiernan, who had been drawn to the area, declared in awe that we fell in with immense numbers of animals beyond anything I had yet seen. I would scarcely be believed if I said that there were thousands of them to be seen at a site. Records tell us that 23% of the total area of the park is covered by the Etosha Salt Pan, a flat expanse of ground covered with salt and other minerals, usually shining white under the sun. And this is where the park gets its name from, for Etosha in the Ocean Donga language means Great White Place. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, a vast majority of the wildlife in the park was wiped out either by severe drought or after being caught in the crossfire of the so-called border war that engulfed Namibia, South Africa and Angola at the time. The numbers have greatly replenished since then, but it took the brave efforts of conservationists to see this through. Dearly beloved, the story of Etosha is quite reminiscent of the story of mankind. For we too behold the crossfires of the great controversy, the border war between good and evil, light and darkness. The enemy who seeks to wipe out a faithful and steadfast generation. A poacher who lays snares to take captive those who are free in Jesus, but a savior. A savior who stands in the midst of his people, declaring the end from the beginning, finishing what he has begun, the Lord who's a man of war. In the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 11, Brother John declares that he saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. So while those ensnared by the enemy are unable to stand before this throne, there are those who rejoice to behold the desire of all ages, the great conservationist of mankind, the overcoming King, our Savior and Shepherd, Jesus Christ. And while the animals of Etosha have found a sanctuary in the great white place, dear brothers and sisters, we too have a sanctuary in the name of the Lord, who is a strong tower. The righteous run into him and they are safe. Our great high priest in the heavenly sanctuary bids us come, for he is able to save us, save us to the uttermost, save them that come unto God by him. In the words of the songwriter, I appeal to thee, come every soul by sin oppressed. There's mercy with the Lord, and he will surely give you rest by trusting in his word. Come now, my friends, come now. God bless you.